Okay, so I was watching Spongebob with my daughter and my son this morning, and I got some marine biology questions for you. First off, let's, let's, just, let's just start with the basics, the simple part, okay? So a cat gets together with a cat, makes a baby cat. A dog gets together with a dog, makes a baby dog. Humans, baby human. But in what universe and what animal hooks up with a crab and makes... A whale! I mean, it just doesn't make any goddamn... It, it, it makes no sense. No, not... Okay, look, I, look, I get it. I get it. I, I get it. I'm not stupid. I understand. It's a cartoon. It's not supposed to make sense. So there's a certain uh, suspension of disbelief, if you will. If you want to enjoy SpongeBob, you have to be willing to acknowledge that it's not going to make a whole lot of sense. It's a cartoon, right? Sure. 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 Okay, yeah. So you can say that, but... And, and you know what else you might say? You might say, well, maybe Pearl is adopted. Mr. Krabs is rich, so maybe... You know what? No. Because here's the deal. Krabs loves money more than he loves anything. Probably more than Pearl, right? So you really think he's going to fork over the cash to adopt a baby whale by himself? I mean, maybe it's a tax write-off or something. I don't know. But moving on. Moving on. Let's go to the other thing. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? No, seriously. Think about that. You've got Patrick Starr. He's a starfish, right? Lives under a rock. All right, sure. You've got Squidward, right? Uh, Easter Island head that's hollowed out. Makes sense that a squid would live in something hollowed out. But in what... Uh, there's no reason that a pineapple would grow under the sea and then a sea sponge, whose parents look like two potatoes... Let's see, circular potato and other potato get together, make a square sponge. No sense. Anyway, there's no reason that that thing would live in a pineapple under the sea. Speaking of which, his pet, Gary the Snail. Why is it that Gary's like the only sea creature that can't talk? Meow. Oh, he's a pet, so he's like a cat. He's like their version of a cat. So, sure, okay, that's established. Which means that worms are their version of dogs. All right, sure. But in the real world, fish eat worms. They don't walk them on leashes. <laughs> no sense made. So now, moving on to one more thing here. Let's talk about Mr. Squarepants. SpongeBob, right? He decides, you know what? I'm going to wear a t-shirt, and I'm going to wear pants, and I'm going to wear socks, and I'm going to wear shoes, and occasionally while working at the Krusty Krab, I'm going to wear a hat. All right, cool. Sharp-dressed man. I respect that. 37 same outfits? Sure. But then you go to his buddy Patrick. Now, Patrick's kind of a weird hippie type, right? So he likes to wear uh, just the pants. No shirt. All right, no shirt, no shirts, no shirt. What? Sure. He only has two legs, and technically they're not legs, they're just like points on his star, right? So, what's the deal with Squidward? Okay, he's got four legs and two arms. Technically, they're all legs, so how he chooses two of them to be arms every day, I don't know. But he decides, I'm going to wear a t-shirt for my two arms, and then my four legs are just going to go willy-nilly. Now, is that because he can't find the right pants? I mean, seriously, if the majority of your body is legs... Why would you choose a t-shirt? You have no real arms. No sense made. Even Mr. Krabs, no pants. Or does he wear pants? I don't even know. I'm going to have to go back and look, but I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Okay, and then, so everybody has some kind of clothing, right? Except for Plankton. Little dude's naked. Like, naked! I get it. His whole body is his face, but still something, you know? A little bit of indecency. Why is he never arrested for indecent exposure? Just saying. Last but not least, and this really gets me. Okay, so all these sea creatures are in their own weird world called Bikini Bottom. And, you know, you can get into the whole Bikini Bottom and Krusty Krab and Mr. Krabs and Sandy Cheeks and all that. You can do that, but I'm not going to because everybody else does that. What I'm going to ask you about is this very last thing, okay? How does a sea squirrel decide I'm going to live in a space suit and walk around around fish and then live in a bubble when I'm not in my space suit? And the weird part about that is my glass dome, which how the hell she got it down there in the first place, I'll never know. But I'm going to grow a tree in there, plant some grass in there, and make it all grow under the ocean. Because, <laughs> you know, physics be damned. That's all I'm saying. Now, my daughter brought up a good point. She said, well, maybe she needs the tree to breathe oxygen. All right, sure. And squirrels live in trees. All right, yeah, okay. But still, how the heck does it grow? I mean, are you telling me that she, like, brought some kind of soil down, too? And how'd she get it all down there? And why would a squirrel say, you know what, I'm going to live in a bubble under the sea, and I'm from Texas, but uh, I'm going to live somewhere in the middle of the ocean? I, it's just none of it. No sense. Not a damn bit of sense to me. And why do they eat cheeseburgers? What fish eats a crusty crab, crabby patty cheeseburger thing? And why is it that the sea sponge is the only one that can make them? Oh. No logic. No logic. What am I doing to my poor children? Yeah, I'm raising kids. 
<laughs> I don't know. 